Hi everybody, Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yeehaw, and it's Christmas morning. There's more Unite news. We have balance changes coming to the game. We knew there would be with such a huge amount of downtime, but of course, we don't know exactly what they were going to be. I had some speculation and some things that I hoped for. We'll see if they're in this patch. I actually had uh, someone on Twitter reach out, and they... Uh, translated them all because they're currently all in Japanese still. So I will go ahead and use their translation here. Let me go pull that up. Let's see. Here we are. Big thank you to uh, Moonblast X. I'll have their at in the uh, description of this video. Thank you for doing this. Uh, the balance changes are as follows. Dragonite, basic attack range reduced. This is pretty huge. Um, I mean, being ranged is such a massive advantage in this game, and now Dragonite has to be closer to make things happen, which would also mean having to be closer to continue to charge its basics. So that could be more of a nerf than we even know. Uh, Hyper Beam, damage to opponent's Pokemon reduced. I wonder if that also includes wild Pokemon. I have to assume so. I would really hope so. Extreme speed, range increase and cooldown reduced. Very much here for it. I think extreme speed is a super cool move and I would like it to get used more. Unite move, minimum charge is now 50%, previously 25. I saw this uh, actually in game. I was messing around with the offline mode. And yeah, this is a pretty significant change to its Unite. I'm kind of surprised we're not seeing more, but these are a lot of nerfs, to be fair. These are a lot of Dragonite nerfs and it might bring Dragonite back in line. Zarina. Basic attack animation is faster, okay. Triple axle damage and healing reduced. That could be a big nerf. We don't know the numbers of that yet, but that could be a big nerf. Stomp healing increased. I love it. I'm a stomp Serena, so here we go. Grassy glide slow decreased and cooldown increased. Yeah, so grassy glide was without question the better choice. Now we might see more drop kick. Honestly, it all depends on how much the cooldown's been increased, how much the slow has been decreased, but I, mean, I would love to be playing Stomp, Trop, Stomp, Tromp, <laughs> Trop, Kick, Zarina. I would love that. All right, so a little bit of a nerf to Zarina, but they kind of boosted its uh, Stomp there. So it, it feels like a mixed bag, but overall, I'd say that's clearly a nerf, right? Talonflame. No! No, no! Why'd you do it? Just in time for me to wear a cowboy hat on Zeraora, apparently. Talonflame. Fly cooldown increased. If you hit an enemy, the cooldown will be reduced. Oh. So they, they don't want you to use it as much as an escape anymore. Hmm. And then damage has been reduced. Bummer. I love Talon, but that, that could really hurt it. Aerial Ace now heals you when you hit an opponent. Huh. Huh. I really want to try that out. They might have really hurt Talon there. I knew they could mess with my talent. I knew they could hurt my bird, but mm, that that one, that one could sting a little. Everybody, <laughs> that one could sting a little. I love talent, and uh, man, I, I hope that's not too too intense. Lucario, power up punch, damage reduced, and knockback reduced. Wow, they nerfed him again. Extreme speed, healing reduced. Okay, close combat strengthened the work of Pokemon. I assume it means it stuns the opponents a bit more. Okay. I mean, I like close combat, but man, Lucario getting another set of nerfs here. That's, uh, you know, it's to be expected. He's one of the best Pokemon in the game. It's just, they can't stop nerfing this guy. They can't start ner stop nerfing him. They can't start stop buffing Garchomp. Decidueye. After level seven, life steal has been increased. Great. Spirit Shackle now has three charges. I was actually messing around with this also in offline mode. It's pretty cool. I like Spirit Shackle a lot, and now you can use it more often. People are also saying that the range of it has been increased. It felt similar to me, but you know, it's hard to remember if I'm being honest. Like I always remembered it being crazy long range. Uh, Razor Leaf, damage increased. Yes, yes, that's good. Leaf Storm, range is wider, knockback is stronger. Great, that's great. Unite move has been changed in some way. That I'm really interested in finding out more about. Hmm. Unite move has been changed. You know, I used it in practice and it felt like it was firing more arrows faster, but that was just, again, I was in that offline mode. So, okay, cool. Machamp, yes, yes. 
After level seven, life steal, life steal has been increased. Yes, karate chop damage increased. Great. This is really great for its early game. Damp, dynamic range, dynamic punch range increased. Great. Submission damage is activated even if the opposing Pokemon is immune to crowd control. That is great. So you don't just get your entire move canceled. Oh, nice buffs from a champ. Awesome. That's awesome. Oh, there was more. Okay, here we go. Uh, Gengar. Hex is now learned at level five. Damage has been reduced. So Gengar got a cool rework. And I've talked for a long time about how Gengar has needed a rework here. And this seems to be a really, really cool way to figure out what's going on with Gengar. So you get Dream Eater at level 5 now. And if you KO an opponent with the move, it reduces its cooldown. It looks like it just resets. Now Hex Plus and Dream Eater Plus are learned at level 11. And now Sludge and Shadow Ball or Sludge Bomb and Shadow Ball are learned at level seven. So you actually get Hex or Dream Eater earlier, which is pretty crazy, I think. Uh, and then they upgrade at level 13. So this could be huge. Basically, you could chain tons of KOs now with Dream Eater. I don't know what they're saying about Hex and Sludge Bomb. I think they're like, look, we're not even working on that. <laughs> we're just gonna work on the Dream Eater thing. But this could be really nice for Gengar. I don't know if it's enough, I don't know if it's enough, but we'll figure it out. It does say Hex is learned at level five and damage has been reduced, but why? Anyway, Zara Aura, Volt Absorb Bug Fix. Yeah, this there was, yeah, Zara was bugged. Wild Charge Bug Fix, no longer does too many attacks unintended. Yeah, so Zara Aura, um, there was some weird bugs with Zara Aura for a little while where it was outputting way too much damage. I kind of wish it was still outputting crazy amounts of damage given that they're putting a cowboy hat on it, but fine. Guard Chomp. Dig now pops out when you touch the opponent Pokemon or when you reach the max distance. Deal damage to opponent's Pokemon within range and CC them. Now gives you defense plus and special defense plus buff for a little while and then dig plus CC lasts longer. Hmm. Interesting. So you pop out when you touch the opponent's Pokemon or when you reach maximum distance. Isn't that what it all... What did it do before when you re reach maximum distance? It didn't keep you underground. <laughs> what does that mean? Okay. Are you able to choose? No, because when you hit an opponent... Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Deal damage to... Uh, deal damage the opponent's Pokemon within the range and CC them. Now gives you a defense and special defense buff. So that's great. I mean, it's making the ground build better for Garchomp. Dragon Rush can now be comboed with Dragon Claw to increase its damage. It always could. Garchomp takes reduced damage while using this move. Oh, cool. Okay, so you reduce damage while you're using Dragon Rush. Dragon Rush Plus now makes Garchomp unstoppable when using the move. All right, very cool. So you can use it around CC and stuff like that. Dragon Claw's slow has been changed in some way. Basically, it's stronger. All right, great. I mean, Garchomp needed some love. What else? Oh, I saw this for battle items. I, okay, X attack now increases attack speed, special attacks, normal attacks for a while. That could be massive on its own. Like that could be usable. Slow smoke or smoke bomb slow is now stronger and reduces opponent's attack speed and the duration is increased. I've seen it. It looks like a disruptive tanks nightmare weapon. I can't wait to start trying it out. It looks awesome. Fluffy tail bug fixed uh, where it could be used on non wild Pokemon. Yeah. There we go, that's all. Seems like a good patch. Bit bummed they didn't touch Cramorant though. Would really sub to, love to see it be more viable again. But there are our patch notes, everybody. All translated again, thanks to Moonblast. Thank you so much for that. A lot of cool stuff. I can't wait to try out all these Pokemon. I can't wait to try out Trevenant. Very, very soon, I will be live streaming it. I hope you're there. Come hang out. Let's do this. Pokemon Unite. What a time to be alive. Mwah, yeehaw.